Hey everyone. In today's episode, I'll share all the amazing facts you need to be aware of to grow silver artemisia or silver mount at your homes. By the end of this video, I'll also highlight a very unique fact of this plant. So, stick to this video until the end. Let's talk about the growing conditions for silver mount or silver artemisia plant. Sunlight. Silver mount plant requires a good amount of sunlight as it is native to arid and semi-arid regions. My plant here receives sunlight for about 4 hours, but you must try to provide it with maximum sunlight. People who grow this plant under 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight get amazing results. Water requirements. Silver mount is a drought resistant plant. So, you really don't need to water this plant often. I usually water this plant when it stops while it becomes completely dry, and I suggest the same to you. In case you overwater your plant, the lower leaves will start to turn out brown. These brown leaves can be used as an indication that your plant is being overwatered and you need to stop it immediately. Soil composition. To be very honest with you guys, I have grown my plant in entire compost. and it's doing quite well however in general silver mount plant is very fond of alkaline soil you can make your soil alkaline by adding things which contain calcium carbonate such as lime eggshells or even wood ash pest resistance silver mount scores 10 on 10 when it comes to pest resistance in fact this plant works as a mosquito repellent and keeps the pests away from its neighboring plants too This plant is also commonly known as lavender plant in some regions due to its fragrance but in reality it is quite different from the actual lavender plant. With this we have come to the end of today's gardening episode but before I go here's the fun fact about silver mount. As you guys can see the bottom stem of this plant is usually thick and woody. So with a bit of pruning tricks you can also grow this plant as a bonsai plant too. I definitely plan to try this idea with one of my plant and whenever I try I'll surely share with you guys. If you liked my work then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really keeps me motivated to make more such videos like this. See you in the next one and goodbye.